Damn good. So the movie we're doing today is Myung mm. Young, also known as the Admiral Roaring Currents in America. It's the infamous battle that Yi Sun Shin, the Admiral, uh, oh, let me, let me rephrase that. This movie is history. It takes place in the 16th century where the Admiral Yi Sun Shin single-handedly, well not single-handedly, he took down 330, 330 Japanese, a fleet of 330 Japanese, a fleet of 330, the Japanese ships, a fleet of 333 Japanese, 330 Japanese ships, with his small fleet of 12 ships. That's amazing. And uh, protected, protected Joseon's kingdom. Joseon, 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 Joseon? Joseon? Mm. Like, it, it, it's, it's not just about the battle, but it's also about the battles between the, um, the, the, the Korean Navy, you know, and, 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 and their fear of this big Japanese army, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, Leave that out, that was so racist. What makes this movie so great is, uh, just, uh, Choi min Shi. This is like the first movie I've ever really seen him play in, uh, an actual hero as opposed to like a villain or anti-hero or whatever. He plays this the Admiral, who's just very just stern and very just like collected and, and you, you can tell he's really thinking th throughout the movie, you know, about like how to, um, how, how to strategize against the Japanese army. Is it Navy? Army? This, uh, the, this, this, he maintains this calm presence and what's everyone around him though, you know, his whole, his, his Navy, his, uh, um, his, uh, Lieutenants, but even they are scared, and they and they don't trust that they're gonna, you know, they're gonna survive this 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 battle. You know, through it all, you know, he has to like not only like you know strategize how to fight the Japanese, but how to get his men to grow the courage uh, to to fight and to battle and to do whatever it takes to protect. Um, uh, Joseon Kingdom. The length of the movie, you know, it's about a two-hour movie, but leading up to the war, the story's got a really great build-up, and when it comes time to the actual battle, it felt like more than half the movie, and what I really liked about the battle is just, is, 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 is that it was very strategic, it was very dramatic, so it's not Hollywood. You know, it's, it's, it's staged for the, for, the, for the screen. The only story you need to know is that there's a war, and the whole movie is the war. But just that, it just took up such a majority of the movie, and it's like, well, this is what you came here for, right? Well, they did not disappoint. The whole battle against the, ar the Japanese army, that's like the above-the-surface um, storyline. But the below the surface is just trying to win his hearts of his men to help fight him, uh, fight with him. It's very intimidating to not just go against, against the Japanese, but to go against a, fl a fleet of 330 to, to 13, you know. Okay, sorry, did I say? That's about like 25 to 1, maybe. Math in my head. So, in a time of an invasion, you really do have to um, use the fear against yourself to fight back and, um, and to defend not just your honor, or but your homeland and the people, and to protect the people around you. It's one of the biggest lessons that um, that are that can be missed in this movie if you don't, you know, if if you're just looking for a a, a, a fun ride. Ow. If if I were to say I dislike anything about this movie, it probably be only two things. Uh, one is the slow motion, and slow motion's not bad, but uh, you can tell that it wasn't shot in slow motion, meaning you don't see people going... Uh, we actually see it really choppy, so it looks like... It's not bad, it's just very noticeable. I kind of noticed, like, oh, that could have been done better. And they probably should have planned that better. Um, now one more thing I dislike about the movie, and I already talked about this, is just that Japanese daimyos are presented as this really evil threat. We're really seeing it from the Korean's point of view, you know? A good villain is someone you don't completely hate, you know? And so, I guess that works for the Japanese daimyos because it's not just one guy you really hate, but the rest of them are kind of like, well, you kind of feel bad because they have to follow this guy, this jerk anyway. Critically worldwide, the reception of the movie is outstanding. It's the, this, the single most uh, seen movie uh, in in Korea to South Korea to this day. It not only did it, uh, um, surpassed Transformers: Dark of the Moon on its first day of release. Take that, you Transformers pieces! But it also surpassed uh, Avatar. Take that, you stupid kitty people! So I think this movie has so much potential, but 
I don't think it's been seen by every audience, so what are you waiting for? Go see it. I mean, if I were to rate this movie right now, I would say uh, it's worth watching in theaters, but I mean, this is this one is something that even American audience can enjoy. So please, uh, if it's still out in theaters in a, in a theater near you, uh, give it a watch because that's my 